People are starving. They may not know it because they're being fed mass-produced garbage. The packaging is colorful and it's loud, but it's being produced in the same factories that make Pop-Tarts and iPads by people sitting around thinking, what can we do to get people to buy more of these? And they're very good at their jobs, but that's what it is you're getting because that's what they're making. They're selling you something. And the world is built on this now. Politics and government are built on this. Corporations are built on this. Interpersonal relationships are built on this. And we're starving, all of us. And we're killing each other. And we're hating each other. And we're calling each other liars and evil because it's all become marketing and we want to win. Because we're lonely and empty and scared. And we're led to believe winning will change all that. But there is no winning. What can be done? Say who you are. Really say it in your life and in your work. Tell someone out there who is lost, someone not yet born, someone who won't be born for 500 years. Your writing will be a record of your time. It can't help but be. But more importantly, if you're honest about who you are, you'll help that person be less lonely in their world because that person will recognize him or herself in you and that will give them hope. And it's done so for me and I have to keep rediscovering it, its profound importance in my life. Give that to the world, rather than selling something to the world. Don't allow yourself to be tricked into thinking that the way things are is the way the world must work, and that in the end, selling is what everyone must do. Try not to. The world needs you. It doesn't need you at a party having read a book about how to appear smart at parties. These books exist, and they're tempting. But resist falling into that trap the world needs you at the party, starting real conversations, saying, I don't know, being kind.